Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I made a little bit of a different video than I normally do because I have been in a rabbit hole for the last five months and it all started when I suddenly developed a deep interest in perfumes and scents. And this isn't entirely out of character for me. I tend to cycle through various interests over time. However, for most of my life, I have been someone who sticks to just one perfume at a time. I'd use them until they were empty and then embark on a search for something new. Rebuying the same perfume always seemed a bit silly to me because I do love change. But ever since falling into this rabbit hole, I found myself purchasing several new perfumes. And I mostly love videos of people showcasing their small perfume collection. And I felt inspired to create one of my own. And I found it fascinating how different people describe scents, how perceptions of a fragrance can vary greatly, and how a collection of perfumes can paint a picture of someone's personality. My first ever perfume was Nina by Nina Ricci that I got as a gift at the age of 15. Following that I purchased C by Giorgio Armani, then Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice and later Obsession by Calvin Klein. However, since Obsession wasn't an everyday scent for me, I found myself taking a break from wearing perfume altogether for a while. Things changed almost three years ago when I received a discovery set from Le Labo for my birthday and this opened my eyes to the diverse range of possibilities a perfume can offer. It was through this experience that I discovered my appreciation for both fresh and clean scents as well as woody and warm fragrances. I finished a couple of the samples before deciding on a big bottle. I started wearing Iris and Jasmine. Jasmine is more of a floral and fresh scent, while Iris is more powdery and sweet. I liked both, but I didn't want a full bottle because they were very wearable, but I wanted something more complex. And after those two, I was in love with patchouli, a very smoky perfume, but I realized people would think I just sat by a fireplace when I wore this one. I also completely finished Té Noir, and that's the perfume I ended up buying because that one was the best combination of a fresh and smoky perfume in my opinion. I also really liked another 13. I think I have two sprays left in a bottle because it's such a hard scent to describe. People say it's a your skin but better perfume. It's such an addictive smell and I just like the idea that I can still sniff it when I want to. I didn't end up buying this one because although it's addictive, I think I do like scents where you can obviously tell what it reminds you of. So the fragrances from this collection that I still wear are patchouli. I have a little bit left. So this is very smoky, woody, but still complex because it also has some vanilla, so it's also a sweet scent. Then we have Fediver 46, which instantly reminds me of church. It's very earthy, smoky, but still refined. Ylang 49 is my current favorite. It reminds me of a yellow flower in the woods. It's very exotic, floral and earthy. And it has a blend of Ylang Ylang, Gardenia and Patchouli and Vetiver. B19 is not a scent that I would purchase myself, but I like to try it out sometimes when I want a scent that is out of my comfort zone. It's very refreshing and it almost reminds me of wet leaves, which may sound weird. And then Fleur d'Oranger 27 and Lys are both scents that I like sometimes, mostly when I'm out in nature, I don't really know why. They are both very floral, but sometimes feel a little bit too mature for me. And then I still have some others like Labdanum, Umbret and Neroli and some others that are pretty much full. Sometimes I try them out and then I don't really like them for me. So I am not going to describe them because it's not going to give you an objective description, I would say. So back in 2022, I bought Le Labo Té Noir 29 and it quickly became my go-to scent, no matter the season. It was my only fragrance for a good while. 
For me, this scent is all about balance. It blends smoky and fresh notes seamlessly. Te Noir 29 starts with a sweet ripe fig balanced by the freshness of bay leaves and then you get hints of cedar wood and a touch of smoke. What I really like about it is how it reminds me of a flower shop. It's not a floral perfume but for me it has a green vibe and I'm not the only one. Recently I got into my brother's car. He bought flowers for my mom's birthday and they were in the car and when I got in the car he said he suddenly smelled the flowers but it turned out to be my perfume. Two years ago I went to Grasse in France which is known for its perfumery and there we went to Museum Fragonard and I think that's also a perfume house and there I picked up patchouli. I was at that time obsessed with the patchouli of Le Labo and I was looking for something dark and I'm not saying I was disappointed because I smelled this fragrance and I knew what I was getting, but it is not a dark fragrance. It is called patchouli, so I was a little bit misled by my own perception, I would say, because this is more of a fresh scent. It opens very fresh, it has some ginger and bitter orange and petit grain. And I really like this scent because it reminds me of that trip, but it's not an everyday scent for me. I really just spray it to remind me of that trip nowadays. A bit later I got a little bottle of crystal saffron from Matière Première and this is a different fragrance for me because it is very strong. It consists of musk, saffron, ambroxan and incense and I tried it on in the stores and then when I was walking through the city I sometimes got a whiff of it and I really liked it. I wouldn't wear this day to day, I wouldn't wear this for work because it is so strong but when I'm going out and walking through a city I really like this one. But I wouldn't need a big bottle because it is so strong and I don't wear it that much. But I do really like this perfume house because their scents are really simple but very good. Then I also got ebony wood because I still was looking for a dark perfume and I heard a lot about it, that it is very strong, that it is very designer-like or not designer-like. I think I heard many people say that this is niche smelling, although it is from Zara and I really like it. It is very boozy in my opinion. But for the night, I think this is perfect. I haven't worn it a lot because I just got this in January, I think. Because I was so impressed by Ebony Wood from Zara, I tried on some other scents from them and I ended up with Ballet de Vigui, which is meant to be a fig fragrance, but I don't really smell any fig in it. It does remind me a little bit of Tenwer, not that they smell the same, but more that they are the same vibe. I think Tenwer is freshly cut flowers and Ballet de Vigui is, I don't know, a broken leaf or something. But they do have some similar notes like tobacco, fig, fatty ver, and some woody notes. Um, but this one also has grapefruit, milk, petit grain and iris. But I do have to admit that I also wanted this one because I like the bottle so much. It has a magnetic closure and you can see that I have a type in bottles. I like the ones that are simple and see-through because I really want to see how much fragrance I have left. If you watch my channel, you might know that I track my wardrobe and you will not be surprised that I actually also track my fragrances. So I do track how much I wear something so that I can see the cost per wear. So you can imagine that I really contemplated about getting this last fragrance, which is Open Sky by Byredo. Their fragrances are a bit more expensive but I really like all their scents, uh, there isn't one that I come across that I don't like. I also really like Gypsy Water and Eleventh Hour and Mixed Emotions, but I ended up with Open Sky because this is really a summer fragrance and I'm really looking forward to wearing this one more. It has notes of pomelo, black pepper, cannabis, vetiver and palo santo. I wouldn't say it smells a lot like cannabis, for me it's more of a citrus scent uh, and it really reminds me of smelling the skin of a grapefruit. 
I also have these two perfume oils from Zara, but I don't really wear them out. They are more for going to bed because they are really close to the skin. They don't project, so it's more of a scent that I smell. And it's really comfortable and I do like a little bit of a scent when I go to sleep. I have them for a year now, but they are still really full. I promise that I do use them often, but I think you just don't need a lot. So this is my entire perfume collection. If I had seen this two years ago, it would have surprised me because perfume hasn't always been a significant interest of mine. There were periods when I only wore perfume on special occasions. However, at this point I view it as a minor hobby, a playful exploration. But I also want to keep myself in check and don't buy so much that my collection will overwhelm me. While there are still perfumes I like to add, I'm committed to being mindful of my choices, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm uncertain when my next one will be, since by the time you'll see this, I'll already be in Morocco. So I'm uncertain when I'll be able to post again, but thank you for watching and I'll be back soon.